Hey, what's up, guys? Mavi TV here. A short little follow-on from the last video because I know that a lot of you are asking this question. Can I make this easier? The answer is absolutely yes. You can save presets for your layers, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we're already here. We've got our video set up. We've got our three layers that we uh, talked about in the first video, and we've got our screen size, which is 1080 by 1920. Next, we want to add the effect, which is Gaussian Blur, if you remember back from the first video. So I'm going to drag and drop that up, and I'm going to set the size to 21. I'm going to enter that. I'm going to crank this scale up and then you should see the video popping up in the box. This is all we need to do for now. We're going to right click on this motion part in the top left and we're going to click save preset. And for this one, for the first motion part, this is the size. So we want to change this to bottom layer size or we'll type this in as bottom layer size. Click enter. Now the key to this is the effects save differently. So we need to also save the, uh, save the Gaussian blur. So let's save that preset as blurriness bottom level okay so just to prove a point i'm going to delete that layer i'm going to alt and drop this one down ignore the sound is gone however next time we come into our presets in the bottom left we're going to have blurriness bottom level and we're going to have bottom layer size so let's put that into the bottom one let's drag and drop that one over again and then we're good to go I've already set up my camera crop and I've already set up my gameplay one. So I'm not going to show you uh, exactly how we do though, but, but the same principles apply. You need to click it, right click on motion. You need to save that as a preset. And you also need to do the same for your camera layer where you have a crop around your camera. You need to save that as the camera crop. So if I just uh, drag onto my gameplay layer for the second one, I'm going to drag and drop my camera crop, my camera position. And guys, there we have it. And quite simply, that is how to save presets. This will work for every single video that you do from now on. If I've managed to save you a little bit of time today, please like and subscribe. Please head over to Twitch. I'm live Mondays, Thursdays, and Fridays. Thank you all so much for the support and the likes and the comments on the last video. It really means a lot to me. Hopefully, I made this a little bit easier for you today. Thank you so much.